Michael Cohen, President Donald Trump's once devoted lawyer and all around fixer, was sentenced Wednesday to three years in prison after telling a federal judge that his blind loyalty to his boss led to him to cover up Trump's dirty deeds. Standing along at the defense table, Cohen 52 shook his head slightly and closed his eyes as the judge pronounced the sentence for crimes that included lying about his boss's business dealings in Russia and funneling hush money to the two women who said they had sex with Trump. Payments that both Cohen and federal prosecutors said were made at Trump's direction to fend off damage to his White House bid. Cohen in his first and is so far the first only member of Trump's circle during the two years of investigation to go into an open court and implicate the president in a crime. The whether or not the president can be prosecuted under the Constitution is an open question. At the sentencing, U.S. District Judge William Pauley III said Cohen deserved modest credit for his decision over the summer to admit guilt and to cooperate in the federal investigation of efforts by Russians to influence the 2016 presidential election, but his assistance does not wipe the slate clean. The judge also ordered Cohen to pay $1.39 million in restitution to the IRS, forfeit $500,000, and pay $100,000 in fines. He was ordered to report to prison March 6 and left the court without comment. The prison sentence was in line with what the prosecutors had asked for. Sentencing guidelines call for around four to five years, and the government asked in court papers that Cohen be given only a slight break. Cohen pleaded guilty in August to evading $1.4 million in taxes related to his personal businesses. In part of that, in the case with political repercussions, he also admitted breaking campaign finance laws in arranging payments in the closing days of the 2016 election to porn star Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal. Last month, he also pleaded guilty to lying to Congress by concealing that he was negotiating a proposal to build a Trump skyscraper in Moscow deep into the presidential campaign season. He said that he lied out of devotion to Trump, who he had insisted during the campaign that he had no business ties whatsoever to Russia. Beyond the guilty pleas, it was unclear exactly what Cohen had told the prosecutors, and it remains to be seen how much damage Cohen's cooperation will do to Trump. Legal experts said Cohen could get his sentence reduced if he strikes a deal with prosecutors to tell them more. Stay tuned, there's more to come after the break.